In the previous video, we got GPU pass-through working on Ubuntu. In this one, we'll continue and we'll get Looking Glass running. To get started, here I'm looking at the Quick Start Guide and I'll leave the link in the video description. The first thing to do would be to build a client. We'll need to install these packages. So I'll copy that. Log in as a super user, sudo i, and I'll paste it right here. Okay, while that's running, we'll need to obtain the source. And right here is a link, and we'll download one of these source code zip or Start.gz. Let's see, I already downloaded it. I have it in my uh, downloads. And we'll unzip it. And let's put it in the home directory. Okay. Okay, now we will change directory and go to the looking glass directory. So in my case, home, vm, looking glass, okay, and we'll need to do this. So, let's uh, change directory into the client directory, and let's make a build directory. Okay, now let's change into the build directory. Important step, don't forget that. And let's run cmake dot dot slash. Okay, and now make. Now the first step is complete. We have a looking glass client ready. Next, we'll need to configure libvirt. To do that, we'll have to paste this into our virtual machine uh, document, startup document. So we'll run vrsh, edit, and name of your virtual machine. In my case, Windows Win 10. Let's pick nano. Okay, so here we'll go to the very end where we see the devices tag and we'll paste this at the end. Okay, the 32 right here means uh, it will be suitable for 1080. If you want to use a different resolution, a higher resolution, you might have to change that. But for 1080, that should be fine. So let's save this. Control O. Oh, let me select this. Control O and con Enter and Control X. If you are using Nano as the editor. Okay, next. This step is more or less optional but you should do it anyway, uh, creating this file. So I'll create it in my home directory. So home and uh, I'll create, a, let's call it run. So gedit and run.sh. Okay, I'll paste this. And this user will replace it with libvert dash q emu or whatever user you decide to go with. But that should be fine. Okay, let's make it executable mod
plus x and run another sage and we'll just have to run it before we start the virtual machine again this is more or less optional it should work without it next step configuring windows oh before we can actually run our virtual machine we might have to deal with the uh, app armor it it might prevent your virtual machine from running so to get that in this guide i will do it the easy way not the right way i'll simply disable app armor but again it's the easy way not the right way so okay first i'll go to gedit etc libvert uh, qemu dot conf and i'll find this line security driver okay and i'll replace it with none and save it next i'll disable app armor system ctl disable app armor dot service okay and now i will reboot my host now that we rebooted our host machine we can continue first before we start our virtual machine we'll run the file we created earlier and i'm keeping it in the home directory so cd home and vm is the name in my case and run.sh is what we named it okay now let's start the virtual machine okay now i'll switch my capture card to the virtual machine okay so now let's download this driver i recommend downloading the latest one and i've done that it's right here and we'll open it and we'll need the windows 10 directory okay let's run device manager let's go to system devices and PCI standard RAM controller. Update driver, browse, and it should be Windows 10, that folder, AMD64, next. Okay, what do we do next? We'll go to running the host, and we'll need to download this, and the exe file. And I've downloaded that already. It's under my C drive or on my C drive right here. And before you can run it, you also need C++ redistributable 2017, I believe. Okay. Right here, the 64 bit one, I have it right here. I'll install it. Okay, now we need to run the Looking Glass uh, host application and we have to run it each time the virtual machine starts. To do that, I like to use the scheduler. We'll create a new task. Let's name it LG as in looking glass run when user is logged on run with highest privileges 10 triggers uh let's see at log on let's delay it for uh, 10 seconds i found that it helps uh actions will run the looking glass application Okay, and that should be it. Let's run it. 
and now I'll switch back to my uh, host machine. Okay, so now let's run the Looking Glass application. Let's change directory to Looking Glass client and build. And let's run Looking Glass client and we'll use the S and A option. Uh, in this case, S stands for Disable Spice Client and A is Auto Resize the Window. Okay, so let's run it. Okay, so here is our Looking Glass Client. Okay. So uh, yeah, that's how you do it. If you want sound, you can either add a sound card, one of those virtualized ones to your uh, virtual machine. So here, you can do that. You can also just uh, use a USB device or a PCI Express. The sound card it's up to you so that would be it for this video and i'll see you in the next one